righty. Right, I'm getting back wooded again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just trying to button up a few things, get my wiring tight and everything. It's actually working on my coolant reservoir. So I actually cut it uh, in half, almost, the, uh, the bracketing piece anyway, the platform piece that sits right there. So I got it right here. Yeah, I needed my, uh, just like that. I needed my um, air filter to be able to clear and this was sticking up in the way. So I ended up just cutting it out like that. And uh, yeah, then this tube is supposed to sit in there. So I just pulled it up a little bit and just turned it. So I'm thinking that should be enough. And then uh, yeah, the wiring, when I have the wiring, it's gonna hold this down in here like that. And then I'm thinking I'll have enough room for my air filter right there. Also pulled them uh, battery cables back through into there because I had to get my grommet set up in here. So got my little rubber grommet down there. Now I got to pull them back through the rubber grommet and run them up through here and then connect them properly, which uh, I actually did already. But yeah, um, I forgot to put it through the grommet, so I had to disconnect them. And yeah, even though it was fucking two feet away from me, somehow I forgot. But whatever. So right now, um, yeah, we've been working on the downpipes lately and we finally got the wiring harness set up and the O2 sensors in there and the wideband sensors. So today we're gonna be hooking up the gauges, my wideband gauge, my boost gauge, and uh, yeah. I think I got a fuel pressure gauge too, but we can't hook that up today. But we're gonna get it in there, at least anyway. The wires ran and the gauge stuck in there. And then we'll just have to get that fitting so we can put the, um, yeah, fuel pressure sensor in. All right, well, let's get to it. All right, so the first one is the Glow Shift Triple Pod Pillar with the three gauges I got for $199. The reason I went with this one is because it actually came with the triple pod pillar that I needed and it was the cheapest for the three gauges with the pillar and we also ordered the wide bed gauge for $309.99 all right finally got my positive and negative cables ran through that grommet and routed back through now I got my wide band wire long ass extension cord that goes from the sensor into the uh, interior of the car so I'm about to run this and the other one uh, through that grommet as well. Got my wideband sensors uh, put in the downpipe. Um, I figured out my wiring. I ran it up through there. Well, I already figured it out, but I got to connect it. Yeah, I ran up through there. And then those are the two connectors where it connects in. Runs up through there with some with the other wiring. And then... Yeah, down there, I already got that grommet set and the wiring going through it. I just put my computer um, holder back in and we're about to drop this bad boy in there. So I put this uh, plastic holder in for the computer first and yeah, I could not get the computer in there. So I had to take that back out, put the computer in the holder and then slide the whole thing in there and then now I'm tightening them back down. Oh yeah, so we got all that connected now. So. Yeah, I think one of these connectors, this one goes down to my wheel for my ABS sensor. I guess I don't need that no more since I took out the whole damn breaking ABS unit. But anyway, yeah, that's all set in there now. Oh, I just pulled these the rest of the way through in here. For my wideband wires right in here, I got them routed going across um, under the dashboard since I have all that room in there now from uh, when I took the heater box out and got them over down the other side. Yeah, it's awesome they make them that long. Yeah, I didn't think they were gonna route that far around, but hell, it works, so that's awesome. Now we just gotta connect the rest of these pieces in for the wide band. Luckily, it's all plug and play. Well, almost plug and play. Still got a uh, big wire in the gauge itself. So with putting the wide band in, we're gonna be putting in the boost gauge and the uh, fuel pressure gauge. 
which yeah i'm gonna set that one all up i'm just gonna have to wait on the yeah getting figuring out the hose the fuel hose with the fitting but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get everything together this way that's the only thing i have to do is figure out the uh yeah the fuel hose i got my three gauges the three pod pillar and they gave me with this little kit i ordered um a three gauge power and sensor wiring kit so awesome makes the job a hell of a lot easier having this i hope i'll see though once i get into it so all right let me get um let me go ahead and get started with this shit rolling it's gonna be fun baby all right i got my boost gauge out um comes with yeah some instructions a bracket and a little sun visor thing but my main concern right now is getting this vacuum line before i run any of the wiring or anything i want to figure out how i'm going to get this through my firewall into my cockpit i found my hole spots where i'm going i already got the holes in there right here so this is my vacuum line hole i did it right under the main um wiring harness connector or whatever i had to put two holes because one's for the vacuum line and then the other ones for the fuel pressure sensor wire so yeah so at this point so yeah right now i'm gonna go run up to the oh the fuck is it called i'm going to go run up to the hardware store there we go to go get some rubber grommets so uh i can have grommet around in that hole so this way nothing to get uh, yeah i gotta get some rubber grommets to go in those fucking holes so my wires don't get cut up or my hose get cut. All right, so I'll be back. Got my little rubber grommets. All right, I got the first one in. Let's get the second one in. I got both of those grommets in there and I got the fuel pressure sensor wire coming through and the vacuum hose coming up here. Uh, I'm actually use this little metal rod here and I put a little electrical tape around it to pull up the uh, fuel pressure sensor wire. And then I've been using the fuel pressure sensor wire since it's so long to tape the rest of them to and yank them through. Right now I'm actually yanking the uh, four um, wires back down through here for the power, the ground, the constant, and the, uh, the gauge dimming wire. So we're gonna yank that back through and then here yeah, we're gonna have to hook up this bird's nest of wiring. I got the rest of the wiring through here. Um, what is it? Yeah, it's my wideband gauge wiring. That's for the uh, fuel pressure. And then we got uh, the hose here for the boost gauge. And yeah, this is awesome that, you know, they actually threw this in with the kit because yeah, this cuts a lot of time off this installation because they already got this all color coded um, and wired up, yeah. I'm so appreciative for this uh, three gauge um, wiring connector kit they give you. But I have to customize this pod pillar just a tad bit. Um, yeah, I gotta clean up the molding a little bit, like right here on the edge. Um, I gotta just grind this back a little because I actually fitted it on there, try it out. And then I also have to drill some holes, I guess, through the original one or one hole through the original one so I can, uh, snake this wiring up yeah i think i have to drill each uh one hole for each each uh, pot into the original one to get wiring through that which that's my next project right now uh what i did here was since i didn't need um the three sets of wires i taped um them up and boiled them up pretty much the third set because i'm not using that set and then yeah i separated the other two so it wouldn't be a pain in the ass trying to get them through um the holes so yeah pretty much just uh stuffing this down in here and then yeah i already kind of semi got these wires put in here uh, those are the holes i drilled so i was having a problem getting that um boost gauge hose to seat through here without being smushed properly so i had to make these holes bigger well, I mean, I only had to make the one bigger. The middle one is where the uh, boost gauge is going, but I just went ahead and made them all a little bit bigger. This way I didn't have no problems with wiring, you know, smushing and holding the uh, the pillar back from seating properly. So, yep, that's what happened. Ah, uh, yes, finally we got the first gauge. Ran through. Oh yeah, 
There we go. There's number one. It's done. Now I gotta get some uh, little connectors so I can yeah, splice these in. So last night I stopped working on this because I was faced with uh, soldering these gauges in, which I don't know, I didn't want to do. I wanted to use the little connectors, so made me a trip over the old Wally World, got me these connectors so I can put it together. And then uh, in that time I started thinking, because um, <clears throat> the way you wire up this wide band is you have the two boxes, um, the wire comes down from the, the pillar and then goes into these two boxes and then the, the wiring wire comes out of the boxes uh, to wire up. And I was originally gonna wire it up with the ends of these wires, but then I decided I'm just gonna fish um, that end back up and connect it to uh, this third set that I ended up taping off. I feel like it, it's just gonna be a lot easier that way. I have everything wired up here and then I just have the four wires that I have to hook up in the end and then everything works. Also when I was over at the Wally World I grabbed me some inline fuse uh, connectors. Oh yeah back to this point we got the one back in now we got to wire up those two. Woo! Oh yeah baby we got the boost gauge wired in. <laughs> Sweet right? All right well, I'm gonna tape these little connectors up. I heat shrink them uh, when I crimp them, they seem to crack. Uh, see, now it's cracked, so I'm taping them up with uh, electrical tape. It's to be on the safe side, so I have no chances of them, I guess, arcing out on one another. All right, we got it finished wired up. I just got done connecting the air hose to it. And number two is done. Uh, all right, two out of three. Already got the connectors on this one. Just gotta crimp them on, and then plug that wire in, and yeah. And then we'll be finished up. Well, with the pod pillar anyway. Then we still gotta figure out that rat nest of wiring down there. Which ain't gonna be too bad. I mean, the wide band's just plug and play. Just plug all that wiring in, and then yeah, we just gotta find our four main. Uh, yeah. I'm getting it, getting it, getting it. Alrighty, the final gauge. We're gonna push it in together. Oh yeah. Alright, well, there's my three gauge pod pillar. All put together and wired. Now I just gotta put those little uh little screws they give me in to hold it to the original pillar. Here, I'll give you this little bag of uh, screws and then little black caps that go on top of these screws to, to hide the screw, which I'm sure they're going to fall off. All right, finally got that wide band positioned where I wanted the wiring for it. Uh, yeah, I put it over here on the passenger side since all the wiring was uh, nice and long enough to stretch across from the driver's side. And then I took some double-sided tape, um, not the greatest double-sided tape, I don't even think this is 3M, I mean it might be, I'm not sure, but it works. Uh, yeah, just double-sided, taped them to the uh, AC heated delete panel, and hopefully that'll be their home for a little while anyway. Got these little screws in the pillar, put one there, one there, and another one right here. I didn't use the original ones they had given me because, uh, yeah, they were silver with little black caps. So I found some like OEM style black ones that came out of something. So I like them a whole lot better. They had thicker threads, a wider head, and they're black already. So I don't got to worry about sticking any kind of stupid little cap on them. Oh, all right. So I'm right now, um, yeah, uh, going over everything on the car trying to find all my power and ground wires um, that I needed to connect um, under the hood. Yeah, I just hooked up my starter cable, um, the ground off the block on this side that comes up to the negative battery terminal. There was another ground off the block on this side where the motor mount was that went onto the body. Uh, I got this one here and this other one over there. I um, think I'm pretty good with the grounds and yeah, I got the starter wire connected 
Uh, I'm trying to get everything connected because I want to hook the battery up in the trunk so I can get some power to this bad boy. So I can go ahead and run my power cords for my gauges. Aw, <laughs> oh, hey precious. Here, you want to put the peacock in? Yeah, you do, don't you? You want to put the peacock in. Go grab it, grab it. There, grab it. There you go, take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to put this uh, peacock valve in the radiator. Uh, I never put it in when I installed it. Uh, kind of forgot about it, and then I was just under there. Um, tightening up all my grounds. All right. <laughs> Putting in the peacock. The peacock. I think that's what it's called. Oh, look at that. It just misses. Oh, perfect. Isn't that sweet? Right. Oh yeah, Precious. Precious did it, right? Precious. You put that in there? No, it was me. You handed it to me though, right? You handed it to me? Yes, you did. You handed it to me. All right, come on. Let's go do something else. We're done down here. Yeah, and that steel stick worked. I put it on my um, coolant hose mount. I cracked it off here. I uh, yeah, packed it with that steel stick and yeah, like I said, it's probably stronger than it's ever been. And also, I had to go to these little clips right here. When I was at the pick and pull, I, I grabbed uh, pretty much a handful of these different uh, sized ones. Because, yeah, I broke them all when I took them off. So I had to go pick all these new ones up. And, uh, yeah, reconnect all those, too. Just now. Yeah, since I disconnected the uh, fuel pump from the trunk, yeah, I don't need to have these uh, relays out anymore. Go ahead and stick these back in here. Uh, I went to the local auto parts store and I got me some battery terminals with some wig nuts, butterfly bolts, or whatever the hell you want to call them on here. Since I got these uh, connectors on here like this. And I have my old set of terminals that stick out that I can screw on to hook these up. Get these on. Oh yeah, yeah, I swear. So yeah, I got this terminal kit with uh, the red and this black one here. And for some reason, uh, this one didn't have the little nut on it to tighten it down to my terminals. So yeah, I'm going through the suitcase over here. You know, my little bolt bin, nut bin or whatever. And yeah, I'm finding every damn size, but the size I need. So, you yeah, know, I'm calling it for tonight, and yeah, I'm gonna have to go back up to the auto parts store tomorrow, and uh, either return this set I bought, or try to just get them to give me uh, a nut that goes on it. Or, yeah, I really didn't want to do that. I wish I could have just found one in the bolt bin, but I don't know. Maybe I'll keep digging. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh yeah, alright, till tomorrow.